If you don't understand why linebackers coach Kelvin Shepard, why Aaron Glenn, why me, if you don't understand why the world is loving this man, number 44, Malcolm Rodriguez, this play is going to perfectly illustrate for you why this dude is special as a six-round pick. And I, as much as I hate Brad Holmes, I got to give Brad Holmes a lot of credit on this one, okay? Um, his 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 late-round picks are seeming better than his first round. Well, I don't know because you got Panay too well. So, I don't know. So he might He might... He might got him a few pieces here. That's what I'm going to say. All right. Malcolm Rodriguez, what he's going to do, and at first I thought this was a stunt. He's going to hit this two-gap hard. I call it the two because I used to play running back, so that's the only way I memorized the gap systems up here. Uh, two, four, six, eight, uh, one, three, five, seven. I think it's the left is seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's going to hit the two. Get nowhere and then keep his head up, eyes on the quarterback, going to run around and wrap. At first, I thought this was a stunt. I'm not even so sure it was a stunt. It may have been a stunt, but the way he actually tries to hit that two gap, get no pressure because it's congested. I think he just actually made a heads up play and got back out of there. As you can see, he even shows a little bit as to what gap he's going to be hitting. Now, at this level, that show could have been intentional. He could have been intentionally showing the two gap. That's why I thought it was a stunt. He could have been intentionally showing that he's going to hit this two uh, just because he knows he's going to stunt back out to the one. But I think, he, I don't know, or he might have you know, got a little anxious and, and tipped his hand a little bit. But he's actually going to hit the gap. So I don't know if that's a stunt or not because most times when guys stunt, they don't actually – run into anybody you know what i mean they try to fake and then stunt so i don't know might have been a call stunt either way it go really heads up play to shoot back around he actually doesn't take the two he actually shoots back through like the four and just go ahead and get to carson wentz get that quarterback hit put that pressure on him to cause that incompletion we're going to be seeing a lot more malcolm rodriguez as well and as you can see as we uh alex anzalone who's been doing a great job we're going to see him later on the film today too look at this Look at that nice pressure. Great job by Lee McNeil as well. A guy who I've been wanting to see more of. Uh, no, that wasn't a Lee McNeil. Yeah, yeah, he came in late. Stayed with the play. Aiden Hutchinson did a good job out here on the edge of getting there as well. Let's see. Aiden. Bull Rush. Ooh, a lot more. Ooh! I didn't even notice that. This just turned into an Aiden Hutchinson film session. I'm sorry. I never even noticed this. This, look at the hand. I was talking to somebody in the comment section the other day about Aiden Hutchinson's hand placement. There was no hand placement. There was no hand. Look at the hands, man. I mean, I've, this is the most improvement I've ever seen from a rookie from week one to week two. I mean, I, I, as I haven't been really pulling up the all 22 film before last year, but Jesus Christ, dude. Look at this. Pop. All right, you know he loves that bull rush. That's his go-to. Is That's not going to change. Hand, hand fight. Look at the hands. Hands on wrists. He's ripping. He's swiping. He's dipping. And he's able to force Carson Wentz back out in the Rodrigo. Great job by the two young studs that we drafted this year. Number two overall in our six-round pick. Working in unison right there. That's beautiful. That's Detroit Lions football. That's the future. That's the future. 